This is a tutorial on how to set up your Skype account. There are four parts to signing up for Skype. You need a working broadband internet connection. Your PC needs a microphone and a speaker. If you want to make video calls, it will also need a camera. This is usually mounted on top of the screen. You need to fill out your account information on Skype and you need to download software and install it on your computer or your mobile device. And we'll go through these steps one by one. First, go to the Skype website at skype.com. There'll be a Join button. Click on that. And creating a Skype account requires your first and last name, an email address, the country you live in, and a password. You also need to read and accept policies and conditions. First, fill out your first and last name and your email address. Then, enter your profile information. The only required information here is the country and language. The other fields are optional. Scrolling down the page, they ask how you intend to use Skype, whether it's personal or business, and then you'll need to establish your Skype name and password. We'll talk more about the password in a minute. You need to type in these scrambled up words and letters. If you cannot read them, you can refresh the words with another set. You also need to read and accept the policy terms. It's important to read Skype's terms and policies for use before creating your account. It isn't a required part of the sign-up process, but it is important because this information explains how Skype will use your personal information. Last, click I agree. Now about the passwords. To ensure your online safety, don't, that is do not, use short, simple, or easy to guess passwords like name1212 or blogger12345. And make sure your password does not include, that is it does not include, personal information like your birthday or your driver's license number. Your password should be more complex. It should contain at least eight letters, numbers, and symbols, like a question mark or a dollar sign or an asterisk. The greater the variety of characters in your password, the better. Your next step is to download the software. From the Skype.com homepage, click on the word Downloads at the top. This will take you to a screen where you select what type of computer and operating system you're using. This could be Skype for the Mac, or it could be Skype for a, a Windows-based computer. There are also other options, uh, apps for mobile devices. And Once you've made these selections, you can install the software and you'll be well on your way toward using Skype.